Coach Amy, Precision Nutrition Certified Nutrition Coach with Results Fitness. And the recipe I have for you today is a homemade electrolyte drink. Now when it comes to electrolytes, it's super important to replenish, um, you know, all those electrolytes we lose during exercise, you know, heavy periods of sweating, super important. Um, you know, when you think of products like this, you're gonna see like Gatorade, Powerade, you know, things of that nature. Um, while in a pinch, they're okay, they're also gonna contain a lot of added ingredients and a ton of added sugar. So I'm gonna show you a quick and easy homemade recipe that you can make, and it's also gonna save you a ton of money. I mean, the ingredients here, I mean, you're probably making this bottle for a few cents, to be quite honest. So for a homemade recipe, you're going to need 16 ounces of filtered water. You can also use coconut water. Now, coconut water is also known as, um, you know, nature's Gatorade because it already has, um, I have my list of what's in everything, um, you know, potassium and sodium and whatnot. Coconut water is an acquired taste. I will say that it's a bit salty. So um, if you're not a fan of coconut water, then don't use it. But um, you could always do half and half, or you could start with mostly water, add a little bit of coconut water in. Um, it's only gonna help you, because like I said, it's gonna have that added potassium, added sodium in there. So try it out, see what you think. If not, just go with the plain water. Um, and then I like to use reusable glass bottles. These I got off Amazon, I believe it was like a six pack. So I just go ahead and make these ahead of time and store them in the refrigerator. All right, so water, coconut water, um, sea salt, honey, and lemon. That's all you're going to need. So for a 16 ounce bottle, um, you're going to need about a quarter cup of citrus juice. So you know the citrus is going to have um, calcium and potassium and then combined with the salt, it's gonna help balance the fluid levels in your body. So if you're using a lemon, I always like to roll mine on the counter first. It really helps um, you know, to break all that up and it gets more juice for you. And I'm just gonna juice this real quick. I said a quarter cup's probably gonna be about one half to one full lemon. You could certainly use more, you know, if you're a fan of lemon water, throw a little extra in there. All right, for now, I'm just gonna do one half. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour that in there. Try not to get any seeds in. There we go. And I'll probably make a big mess in the process as usual. All right, and then honey. So honey has minerals and antioxidants in it. So this is gonna make it a healthier alternative for you know all that sugar that I mentioned that are in the manufactured products. So I'm gonna add about two teaspoons. A little bit goes a long way. All right, and then last, we're going to add our sea salt. There we go. Um, do about one one eighth to one quarter teaspoon of sea salt. Um, you know, if it's a super hot day or it was a really crazy workout and you were sweating a ton, I would maybe go for the little bit more towards the uh, you know one quarter teaspoon. Just gonna add that in there, and also too, you know, if it's salty and it's you know again it could be an acquired taste, start out with one eighth teaspoon and then work your way up if need be. I'm just gonna give this a good shake. Um, now, if I do store this in the refrigerator, chances are the honey may still settle at the bottom. So before drinking this, I am gonna you know, give it a good shake. I don't know if you can see it, but you know, the honey's kind of crystallized on the bottom a bit. So you just have to shake it up. All that'll loosen up and you're good to go. So in just a few minutes, you have a homemade electrolyte drink. Um, you know, save a ton of money. You're gonna save yourself on, you know, over consuming sugar. So this is a great and healthy option for you. So as always, let me know what you think. Give me some feedback if you enjoyed the recipe. And thanks for tuning in. I hope you have a great day.